Hello, so we are back and this time we have some nice tools around here. Remember I posted the video on the community about the, the pogo pins and people are sorry and can you do a video? Yeah, we can do. We have a lot of toys here today. Okay. Pogo pins is very simple to use them because you don't have to desolder a SMD memory chip. Yeah, you remember I always have to desolder the program outside. And but now we have this. Okay, let's test them quickly. We have the the programmer here. You have the pin number one here marked, so that means the pin number one here. Very simple. Very simple. Let's bring the programmer on the screen. Yeah, so we have the programmer. Let's get a board. This board should be fine, yeah. We have pin number one on the pogo pin. You can see the, the big thing there. Okay. The pin number one is here. And now let's press identify. Uh, you can't see the pop-up window. Uh, okay, anyway. Okay, so the chip is identified. Now I can press read. And check, check here. Check here on my, yeah. I can move around and it's still fine. Now we can verify. Uh, verify with the buffer and it's still good. So actually, I've seen people saying on the comments, sorry, uh, it's bad because you don't have to, to move your... Uh, your connector and that's not right because uh, as soon as you let's say you put uh, this there yeah you can actually move it but the pins are still sitting on the chip now the pins are interesting yeah are not just sharp and i'll show you how they are now the pins are yeah you can see them they are sharp, but are not like a pin. So basically, when you stick this on the, onto the chip, it's getting inside of the of the solder. Yeah, and then you can uh, you see proper nice, proper nice. Now, if you want to buy something like that, only if you think it's helpful for you, I will show you. One second, desktop. By the way, I ordered the, the CPU, okay? So uh, we will have a video about replacing a CPU, okay? Just waiting for the chip to arrive. Now, those are the pogo pins, yeah? That's what I bought. And I will show you. So basically, that's why I bought them, so I can read like uh, the chip without the soldering now you can buy the chip this uh you can buy the cheap ones like this yeah like nine ten pounds something like that or you can buy those version that's what i bought i bought the straightened one which are a little bit different so these ones are the the expensive ones but also you can buy the cheapest ones Not sure which are the cheapest. Probably this, those ones. I don't know. I'm just, uh, you know, show you what I bought. So I bought those ones, and those was the expensive ones. This and this for different uh, type of memories. Now, what toys do we have more here? I told you I will get, uh, I will get ready. Yeah. I bought this one, and this was quite cheap. You know what is this? So basically you can connect this here on the on the programmer and then you can connect with the MacBook boards. This board, let me see what connector. Yeah, that's the connector and this has to be like that. Yeah, with the with the service connector there. So you can program the BIOS without removing actually uh, the BIOS chip which is here yeah pretty cool right good now something more and uh, more excited more excited about this check here mm -hmm. 
So even if we are desoldering desolder, de a chip, we are not using, remember I was using this thingy to put the chip there. Yeah, you remember? Now we have those nice uh, adapters. So actually we can put the chip inside. Proper nice, right? So where do you put this? I will show you one second. We have the SVOD4, yeah? So those are coming straight into the, into the programmer, this and this. Also, I have a few more toys, so check here. So from now on, we can program the chip ourselves. So even now, if you can believe, yeah, you remember I have two Legion, Legion gaming laptops here. One chip is the one which I made video and I sold the wires and uh, I could not program it. And then I, then I sent the chip uh, back to Romania and the guy programmed the chip. The chip come back, it's somewhere in UK and probably I will get it probably next week. That's the reason, that's the main reason why I decide, you know what, let's, uh, let's buy uh, tools. Yeah. The second Legion uh, the laptop, same issue nearly the same board that I achieve but the customer decide to order the chip from Poland so I'm waiting for that chip but now I have the tools to make to, to program that chip and uh, I'm waiting for two chips which are already programmed pretty sad but yeah from now on we're gonna start using tools yeah we are not asking anyone to program the chips Okay, so that's what we have. Then we have, we can program, uh, we can do like normal programming by the keyboard uh, connector. And what do I have more on this box? Uh, I have this board from for BIOS, okay. And this one to plug the the cables, uh, those uh, keyboard adapters, yeah, cables. Okay, that's all what we have. And we are moving forward, trying to cover the software sector, yeah. I mean, it's time to start learning this part. I don't like it. I never liked the software, the, 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 this, you know, programming and things. I didn't like them. I, I like more the hardware. The hardware is more exciting. It feels more rewarding. But yeah, that's what we have. So basically, we can program uh, different IO chips. Even this socket, this is nice. You know, I, can't, I cannot wait to just use this socket and just plug the chip there, close this and program the chip. This has to be plugged somewhere here, and this is coming to the programmer. Also, the programmer, let me show you the programmer. This is not uh, advertised video. Yeah? You can buy it from whatever, whatever you want if you want to buy it. My advice is to don't buy it. That's my advice. So even this one, I can uh, connect. Yeah, it can connect. Yeah, yeah, it can. Like this one, and I can op open the program. Let me open the program, bring, bring the program on the screen. One second. Okay, so we have the programmer on the screen. Let's select the chip which we are reading, three volts. Let me take the board, please. And we can connect straight away the, the clamp, which has to be like that. There. Now let's press read ID. And read the chip. And it's reading the chip, it's verifying the chip. So I can do the IO chips and also I can do the BIOS with this uh, 
with this programmer. But to be honest, I prefer I prefer the the Revel Frog because you know it's dedicated for something like that. Usually you have to do either the BIOS or the IO chip. No really both on the same time. Now if you ask me and if you, uh, if you if you have to buy a programmer, I was really preferring to buy the Vertiano one, not the SVOD. Because uh, I have a guy on my Discord, you remember the guy with the BIOS? And he is using Vertianov. He was using also the SVOD, but he sold the SVOD after like one month of use because uh, the Vertianov was a little bit better. So uh, yeah, if you have to, you can choose. You can uh, you can get a Vertianov, which I heard is good. Now, because people ask, sorry, okay, you show us bias and things, but how we can uh, how we can get the files? If you go like on any of my video, and when I'm saying any any of my video, just click on the video. You go onto the description. And you can see the description. You just press show more. Okay, show more. And here you have the Discord link. Yeah, so you click onto the Discord link, and you get in our Discord. And from there, it's very simple. Yeah. That's the Discord, you read the rules first. Then you have a bunch of chats you can see here, like uh, laptops, phones, whatever, you know. And BIOS you can get from here, BIOS ME repair you can get from here, and schematics from here. Of course, you have to follow, uh, you know, like a model, how you can request a file. So have in mind, if you, you're looking for uh, this kind of schematics and BIOS, you can find them here. Don't forget, uh, this is kind of uh, a voluntary work. So that doesn't mean if you request something, you will get. So I'll stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget, tomorrow Saturday, maybe we can have a coffee in the morning. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.